No, oh, look right here. Look right here. It happened again. It happened again. As soon as I dropped it down, he's on it. Hi y'all, Justin with Kayak Catfish. Well, I'm getting ready to go after some blues and some flatheads today. But before I do that, I'm gonna get us some bait. Now I've got some skipjack left over from my last session that we're gonna use for cut bait today. But what I really wanna do is get us some live baits. My last session, I hooked a big flathead on a live crappie. So I said, you know what? I'd like to have some more of those coming out here today. So I pulled up here on this brush pile. And I'm gonna try to get it on camera here. I know it's a sunny day, it's probably a glare. But that brush pile right there is loaded with fish and what I assume is probably some crappie. So I'm gonna throw a jig down there, try to get us a few of those. And then we're gonna take off and go after some big cats today. Let's have some fun, y'all. So here's the bait I'm gonna start with. That is a crappie magnet. It's basically just a split-tailed plastic, white and chartreuse color. I've got that on a 1 8 ounce jig head, six pound test line. And I'm gonna toss it out here to that brush pile and just kind of let it swing down into those fish. Most of those fish seem to be 10 to 15 feet down in that brush pile. Got one right there, buddy. Let's see what this is. Hopefully it is a crappie and hopefully he's at least, no, oh, it ain't either. That's a, oh, that's even better. That's even better right there, y'all. I'd rather have one of these. This is a yellow bass. And he is a perfect size for a live bait. Man, oh man, am I happy to get that. That's better than a crappie. <laughs> oh, that makes me excited, y'all. Let's see if we can get this back down there. Maybe he's got some friends with him in yellow bass or schooling fish. So he probably wasn't alone. Got one right there. Felt him thump it. Let's see what this is now. That is a crappie, and I think, well, he's fighting hard, ain't he? Yeah, that one will keep for sure. That's a slab right there, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. Definitely what we want to see right here. Nice. Let's throw him on the board here just to confirm what we already know. Crappie have to be 10 inches to keep out here. And that one there is, whoop, whoop, whoop. He's wound up, so what he is. <laughs> Lay there and be still a minute. He's almost 12. Just shy, about 11 and three quarter. You just save that energy, flathead. You're gonna need it. Or I called him a flathead. I'm excited, folks. I'm gonna feed him to a flathead. I'm so focused on feeding him to a flathead, I called him one. <laughs> Get that jig back down there and see what else we can catch. There's crappie on here. There's yellow bass on here. Probably bluegill too. A little bit of everything down there on that brush. I'll show you here while that jig sinks. I mean, it's just stacked full of fish right there. Something nailed me, buddy. Something nailed me right here. I don't... I'm afraid this might be a catfish. I'm trying to catch some catfish today, but I don't think we want this particular catfish. He's rolling around. Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll be a drum. No, it's a dang catfish. Old channel cat. I never want to see these things. We have the blues and flatheads this afternoon, but channel cat, we trying to get some crappie or some yellow bass or even a bluegill here first, but not you, you old thing. I'll tell you folks, literally everything will eat a small plastic bait. When you got a minnow-like bait down there, everything will eat it. But surprisingly, I'm really not getting a lot of action for the number of fish. I've made several casts and I'll get fish nipping and pecking, which I assume is probably some bluegill on this brush pile with that large a profile bait and that big a hook a lot of them bluegill probably aren't going to hook up but i'll take this transducer here and kind of spin it around and you can see just how many fish are on there so for the number of casts i've made i'm really not getting a lot of action but 
there's a variety of fish there. I mean, that's channel cat, yellow bass, and crappie now, plus all them little small packs, which I assume are the bluegills. I mean, everything is on this brush. They just don't seem to be super active or else they'd be would be catching them one after another so i'm gonna try a different bait i've got a three inch gulp minnow here and i'm gonna take maybe i'm gonna eyeball it here maybe a half inch maybe an inch off this thing just snip it down kind of give it a little bit smaller profile apparently i'm gonna lose the rest of it down there in my pedal drive slot we're going to put this on and try it. Just give them a, something different to look at down there. Use the same jig head. We'll see if this don't catch us a little something extra with that, with that gulp scent working in our favor. Slide that on the hook. Oh. Well, I got, I'm fumbling the words. I'm fumbling the, the jigs. I'm just... I'm in all kinds of sorts today, y'all, but we're going to get it together here before we get to the catfish, I promise. We're getting the, the goof-ups out of the way right now so we can dial it in for them cats here in a little while. Got one in. Oh, another yellow bass. Yes. Yes, buddy. That's what we need to see something we can bait a hook no size or limits on the yellow bass unlike the crappie so get in there buddy nice oh, that makes me happy right there we're gonna have a real good chance of some big cats this afternoon I guess I'm pulling up part of this brush pile. <laughs> We're gonna see what it is. That'll be the biggest thing we catch all day right there, y'all. I hate that I broke part of that thing loose. This is a dang good brush pile right here. But it's got them old jig catching branches on it. We'll send it right back down there. <laughs> I do though think though, y'all, I'm probably gonna head out to get after some catfish. I've spent really and truly too much time here i was just going to try to run down here catch a few live baits and go get after the cats and man it's just been a struggle to get these things to buy you'll see them come up on the screen look at it they'll follow it sometimes you'll get them little nips which i think is the bluegill but i mean very very few takers just that one keeper crappie and a couple yellow bass and that's all we got in the bucket but that's okay we'll supplement those in with our cut bait and I hope I'm hoping, man, I'm optimistic. I can feel it down in my loin jaw. We're gonna have a good day of catfishing. So let's go get after them. So I've made my way up here to the area I'm gonna be catfishing today. And where I'm setting up is in front of a creek. There is a long creek that goes back up in here. And, and where I'm at right now is 46 feet deep. So I'm gonna drop these baits down, just fishing vertical, directly under the kayak. And I'll have them down there at roughly 43, 44 feet deep. And I'm gonna use two rods with cut bait. I've got a skipjack head on this rod right here. This is a Carolina rig with a 10 aught size circle hook and a catfish sumo bait stalker fly. We'll drop it down there and then I'm gonna use a chunk off this other side. And then my back rod, I'm gonna have a third rod out with one of those live baits that we caught there a little while ago. And we'll just give these fish an option down there today, cut bait or live bait, and let them decide what they want. So right here is my skipjack chunk. Same exact setup as the other rod there, just a chunk instead of the head. And my live bait rig will be a Carolina rig without the fly. The only reason I don't have a fly on it is because, well, I didn't... I didn't have a fly on that particular rig. No other real reason than that other than I'm just lazy and don't want to tie on another rig. So <laughs> that's why. So we'll get one of these live baits on and we're going to be set up and fishing. So there is our first live bait going down. That is yellow bass. And that right there is one of my absolute favorite live baits for both blue and flathead catfish. Those yellow bass, they are hardy bait. They are tough they will sit down there and just kick and kick and kick 
on that hook and just stir up all kinds of commotion down there and they'll last on that hook a long time so we'll set him down there just a couple three feet off the bottom and my plan is to just sit out here and basically fish until dark today i'm not moving so i'm just going to be set up here for any fish that swim their way through i got an easy meal for them i just want them to eat it man oh my front rod up here something's after it there i think he's got it yeah he does my gosh we got one on our head bait bear with me y'all i got a mouthful of cookies <laughs> you know how it is you try to get you a snack that's when a fish is going to eat they can't have you eating something and them not this feels like a pretty good fish right here man it feels pretty good he feels solid down there i feel him rolling i'm pretty sure it's a blue but he feels good man he's pulling yeah my plan is to set here until dark see if we get some fish working through i'm still fishing the afternoon hours of this morning too dang cold for me to get out at dawn so i think we're supposed to have a warm-up next week i may be able to do some more morning trips but this time of the year i usually start switching over to more afternoon evening times oh man oh, uh oh there goes my there goes that bait there goes that bait back there this is a nice blue this is a nice blue i'm gonna i'm gonna set him back i think something's got our yellow bass something got him or is that just the yellow bass yeah that yellow bass he can't take over that rod that far we're doubled we've got some fish working through there's some active fish right under me <laughs> oh man that's how it goes you sit around nothing going on and all of a sudden fish turn on for whatever reason and they work through and oh that's a flathead he's a little flathead he's got, oh there went our yellow bass he's swimming off right there <laughs> i saw him in his mouth when he first come up he sling him off the hook it! we almost had our bait back <laughs> come here flathead you laundry thing Let's land you first. <laughs> Almost had that thing back. That's the luckiest yellow bass ever. Because he was swimming off. He, he basically got off scot-free. Let's turn our flathead around this way. Get him in the light so we can see his colors. He's just a little old thing. A little dink flathead. But I like them all, man. He tried to get him a mouthful of that yellow bass. That was a pretty large fish for his size but he wanted him by gosh all right well i'll tell you what let's do we still got our blue but let's just leave him there a second before we land him let's go ahead and rebait get another live bait down since we've got some active fish working through right now we've only got that one bait down there that's that skipjack chunk so what do you want to put on crappie or yellow bass I think we would put on that. I like them yellow bass, man. I think we're going to go for it. Well, I never got hold of that thing down there. Oh, I still can't get hold of it. <laughs> All right, there's our next victim. Live yellow bass going down. We still got our crappie in the bucket. So we'll send this down, and then we'll land our big blue over here. Business picked up in a hurry, didn't it? All right, there's my sinker on bottom, so let's reel down. And... Oh, man, something eat him just then. Something eat him just then when I went to pick up on it and put it in my rod holder. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't believe that. What are the odds, man? What are the odds? It got it right as I went to pick up on it, and I felt him hit it. Oh man, I wonder what this is. You talk about timing it right. <laughs> I can't believe that. Right place, right time, buddy. I mean, just dropped it right in his face, right in his mouth. You think it's another flathead? 
I hope we get the bait back if it is. <laughs> Blue cat, I'm sorry. You're going to have to wait a minute to get your moment of fame. It is another flathead. It is. By gosh. Another flathead. This one's bigger than the last one. <laughs> oh, man. I put it right in his daggone face. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Come here, Flatty. Come on in. Let's lay in this one now. I'll tell you what, we're gonna do the same, same thing. Same exact thing. I'm gonna leave him sitting in the floor a second. We're gonna drop our crappie down. All right, buddy, here is our next bait. That is that crappie, about 11 and a half inches. Let's send him down there and we'll hold up our flathead and then maybe, maybe after that, we'll land our blue over here. What a series of events, man. That is awesome. Let me get my bait situated here. Where'd my sinker at? Okay, there's my sinker on bottom. Let's try that again. <laughs> Nothing on him that time. Hopefully there's another one working through though. Well, here's the culprit, buddy. Here's the one that got our bait as soon as it went down there. Not a bad flathead. I mean, that's a that's a quality flatty right there i tell you i love them yellow bait anytime i get them they're hard to target you know to go out and consistently catch them but anytime i get me some yellow bass i like to try to keep them alive because they just make such a good bait blues and flatheads both will just gobble them up all right well, let's let this one go and we'll finally land our blue over here say goodbye flatty there you go all right, buddy. Fist pump on that for sure. Just the bite alone, the timing of it was fist pump worthy on that one. Come here, blue kitty. It's finally your turn. This fish is mad at me right here. He, he said he's waited too dang long. He's supposed to be the main event. And he don't understand that the main event technically goes on last. That's usually when the main event comes out, but he wanted to be first and center showcase in here. Oh, fish it bit my thumb now. There we go. That's what he eat, that old skipjack head. We're going to switch it out for a fresh one. Let's hold him up. That's a pretty good blue cat. That's pretty good right there. That's quality, man. Him and the flathead, both good quality. We had that other small flathead, of course, but... Just, you know, sitting here, candy crushing, twiddling my thumbs, nothing happening. And then boom. Oh, oh, did you see that behind me? We got, we got, sorry, blue kitty. We gotta let you go. Look right here. Look right here. See that rod? <laughs> We've got one on the crappie. What do you want bet that's another flathead? I bet you it is, because I never felt him by. I'm talking to y'all and glance back so I feel the kayak kind of moving and there's a dang rod going over. I guarantee you we've got another flathead here. <laughs> I gotta catch up with him, man. He's coming straight up at me. Oh my gosh, and he let it go. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh my gosh. The, the hook turned back in on the on the crappie here it turned back in on him dang well the good news is here's the good news we got our bait <laughs> i'm out of live bait i've we marked all them dang fish on the brush pile and i just couldn't i just couldn't get anything going with it so he ain't in very good condition at this point sorry crappie we're supposed to land that fish that got you. We're going to drop him back down. I think that was a flathead. It was a characteristic flathead bite. Man, that's awesome, y'all. We got to get this bait down here. We got to get us another skipjack head cut and put on that one. Man, I would have liked to have landed that one. All right, let's get another skip cut here. I'm going to take these fins on him and trim those off there. And we're going to put him on a hook. And drop him down. This other head, I'm going to keep it just because 
I'm running on the, the cut bait here from the last session, so if the bite really turns on, we may end up needing it, but I want to get a fresh one on right now, though. Lord almighty, we got our stinger wrapped. He's got this other fish done number on us. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, we had another one. He's still on it. He's still on it. He's still on that crappie. I wonder if that's the same flathead that we lost before. He's got him again. <laughs> oh, man. Again, I didn't feel him. I didn't feel him eat it. Just felt the kayak kind of move and look back and... <laughs> this is awesome. I tell you, folks, I... I Places like this, you just creek mouths on these main channels here. You just put time into them. And it's, it's going to happen for you eventually. And I'm in the right place at the right time at this moment. Nice flathead. Nice flathead right there. Oh, he's mad now. I hope he don't. Oh, doggone. There goes our crappie. There goes our crappie. He's swimming right there. Do you see him? Oh man, where's my net? I got a little bait net somewhere over here. I can't see him now. Dang, man. We almost got him back. Oh, that gone. You dang old flathead. This flathead knew I was gonna let him go. And he said he'll sling that bait off the hook and he'll go eat him down there when I'm when I'm done showing him off to y'all. This is a smart flathead right here. This is a smart fish. They don't get enough credit for how smart they are. He just he ain't done. I'm gonna have to play this one out a minute. Man, he's mad. Here, let's do this a second. Let's do this. Let's put him back in the rod holder. Let me get this other bait back down there. I was working on getting my, okay. Everything's worked out now. Let's drop this back down, man. That chunk, we've had all these fish right here under us. That's three flatheads now on the big blue. This chunk over here on my right rod, it ain't been touched. I'm wondering if I even got a bait on there. I wonder if some small fish didn't knock it off or something. All right, let's land this one out. I'm gonna reel that other bait in and change it out here when we're done with this flathead. We're gonna to have to put something on this rod too, because we're out of we're out of live baits. Look right here. Before I can land the flathead. Something's right here on that chunk. I was just talking about him not getting hit, and by gosh, we got one on. <laughs> I just I, apparently these fish didn't know it was down there, and I just told them about it. And I was like, oh, we'll go find it. This flathead over here behind me, he's feeling like that blue, missing his turn to get on camera. Let's see, is that another flathead? It is, it's another flathead. Oh, and he come free. He popped off right there. Oh man. Here, let's do this. Before we land our flathead, let's just go ahead and again, let's change this bait out. It's been down there a while anyway. We'll keep it just in case we need it, but I've still got this other skipjack laying out here, so we'll just go ahead and cut it. And send a chunk back down. Man, oh man. This is exciting when it's like this, y'all. This is exciting. And I'm telling you, when you put time into these type of places, creek mouths, points um, humps you know good good structure you put time into good structure you will have these these windows of time where fish are feeding they move through and all these rods are going to start going down on you it happens it's just a matter of timing it oh look right here look right here it happened again it happened again as soon as I dropped it down, he's on it. I felt him eat it. <laughs> it's twice. I can't believe this. 
I cannot believe this. That is twice now. We're just sitting right on top of these dang things right now. I wonder if it's another flathead. He don't feel huge, but man, I felt him eat it as soon as it went down. I want to get him up here to get a look at him. That last one popped off, but I saw him. He was definitely flat before. Yep, flathead. That's another one. Oh, he's hooked right in the bottom. Let's try to pull this poor flathead behind us. He's just keeps having his turn skipped. This one here is hooked. We're probably going to lose this one. We're going to lose this one. Look how he's hooked. Right there, the hook's coming back out the mouth this way. Let's try to get hold of him in here. Look how that thing's hooked. It's a wonder we landed him. <laughs> Just right there in the, in the skin, by gosh. Let's leave him. Let's leave him sitting there a second. Has I almost hooked myself. And drop another bait down right quick. Hang on, flathead. Hang on. We got to get this bait down there, man. These fish, we're sitting on them. We got our head up there right now. That's Nothing's on it for the time being, I don't think. Okay. Man, this is exciting, y'all. I am, I mean, this is, this is awesome. You laying on my line, flathead. Let me move you a second there. There you go. Well, I got my line all wrapped around my rod holder. Okay, let's see if it'll happen again. Man, it's crazy to have that happen once, but to have it happen twice, a few minutes apart, <laughs> That's incredible. All right. We're good that time. Hopefully it won't be down there long. Well, this thing right here is just plum ornery, man. This one ain't the biggest flathead we've hooked into. And this little the short burst of, of activity, boy, he's, he's acted out once he got in here. <laughs> just for that flathead. You getting out of here. I ain't even going to do the release shot on you. No! Oh. <laughs> he splashed me right in the dang face, man. Oh, water dripping off my glasses. Daggone fish. That's a spiteful thing right there, man. Just plum spiteful. Let's get over here and get this one now. This big flathead here. He's been patient. He's been waiting his turn. Come here, Flatty. Come here. This is a good one. Okay. Nice, man. Nice. I tell you, I'm a little bit winded, y'all. Reeling in all these fish. Man. Hold yourself up here. That's a little bit darker colored one right there. Still a good quality flathead. That crop, I'm sorry, flathead. He he threw that crappie off the hook thinking he's gonna get released real quick and go eat him, but one of his friends probably done ate that crappie by now. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I done lost track of how many flatheads we've hooked. Oh man. Get out of here, buddy. Oh man. Another fist pump worthy fish. I'm a little bit out of breath, y'all. That was freaking awesome, man. I'm gonna put the camera back in the chest here. We gotta figure out a, what we're gonna put down on that uh, next rod. I think this is all the bait we got left here. This is dumb to do this, but I kinda wanna take a whole skipjack and just cut some slits in him and just have a super large bait down there. I think that's what we're going to do. This may be silly with how little bait I've got left, but you know what? It is what it is. I've done dumber things. Them flatheads, I mean, you saw the size of the flatheads 
to the size of the baits that they were at least attempting to eat down there on them live baits. So let's just do that. Let's take us, let's take that whole skipjack and drop him down. It'll either get eaten or it won't. But either way, that sucker's going down, man. Man, I'm pumped up, y'all. This is awesome. I'll show you this too. I turned the live scope back on here a second. Let me spin the transducer around a little bit. See what we see down here. I was just curious. There's a few fish down there. There's a few down there. I was just curious. I, I turned that live scope off because one, to save on battery, but two, it's just um, I found when I'm doing this style of fishing where I'm spot locked or if I'm in my other kayak, I'm anchored down and I'm planning on fishing an area like this, a creek mouth, for instance, for a long period of time. Well, fish could move through any time, right? I mean, it's you could have nothing going on like we did there earlier and then boom, bunch of fish on, right? Well, if I'm sitting here and I'm watching that live scope and there's nothing on the screen, I get impatient and I find myself just compelled to move if I'm not seeing fish even though I know they could come in anytime I still feel compelled to move other thing is if I if I'm watching that screen and there are a bunch of fish down there and I'm not getting bit same deal I feel compelled to change stuff change my rigs change my baits I'm just tinkering with stuff non-stop it just ain't good for me you know and and the other thing too I think and I can't prove this this is just me talking out my butt here so take it with a grain of salt but all of these sonars, whether it's live scope or your regular 2D, side scan, whatever, all of these sonar devices are putting down, they're sending out their sound waves or their frequencies, whatever it is they do to, to ping the bottom there to give you the image back, right? Fish are sensitive. And, uh, you know, obviously I've caught enough fish with the live scope on they're going to eat with that thing on or regular sonar whatever but i have to believe there are times throughout the year where maybe fish are just extra sensitive maybe they're reluctant to bite weather water conditions whatever you know i have to believe there are times throughout the year where that sonar that ping whatever it's putting down there that maybe it cost you a fish and in my mind, if it cost me one fish, it's cost me one too many. So I have started turning that thing off. When I get set up on a spot uh, like I am here today, I just turn it off. It keeps me from having to charge a battery very often, and I don't have to worry about uh, the pinging, you know, scaring off any potential fish. And I don't have to sit here and watch a screen and get frustrated as hell if I ain't getting results, right? So that's what I started doing. But anyway, I turned it back on for a minute just because we've had all this flurry of activity. I just wanted to see what was down there to see if there was a pile of fish or what. But anyway, I'm about to turn it back off now. So anyway, again, I'm talking out my butt here. So take everything I say with a grain of salt. It's all opinion. But uh, yeah, that's my thought process on it. Y'all, it's been a few minutes. But I just glanced up and saw this didn't feeling bite just looked up and there's my rod just this bending over there I think we've got yet another flathead this is on the chunk I thought the bite had maybe just tailed off because I've been sitting here nothing going on a few minutes after that flurry it kind of comes in waves you know they'll be on like Donkey Kong and then it's over. But we got a straggler here. Yep, a little flatty. That's another small. Come here, you old thing. Give me that bait back too. Your friends have cost us enough bait today. Come on up in here, you little devil. You little devil. Now you done put that stinger hook in my leg here, fish. Goodness gracious. He threw the bait off, but he threw it down here in the kayak. So we're going to reuse it. It ain't been down there long. Now you got the line around your tail. You in bad shape, fish. 
There we go. Another small flathead snuck up on me, you old fish. You sneak up on me, but you ain't getting away that easy. Let's rehook this bait. You can see it's still looking really good condition. Not that we got a lot left to be switching it out for at this point anyway, since I put that whole skipjack down there, and that's a gamble. Because we could get about three, four baits off that other skipjack, but I just want to put a big bait down and see what's going on right now, you know? Worth the worth the risk. Worst case scenario, we burn through all this bait. I'll just go kiss some more and try to get set back up again before dark. My plan was I'm gonna fish till, till right at dark uh, this evening. It's just gonna get so dang cold after that, man. I'm a pansy for cold weather, especially this time of year in the fall when it first starts to turn cold and everything just feels colder than it is. I ain't, I ain't putting up, I gotta really be just wearing out some big fish to wanna put up with that. But uh, we still got plenty of, of daylight left out here. So if we run through this bait, I'll go get some more and come back out here and set up. But, uh, uh oh, I felt a thump right here while I'm talking to you all. That's a flathead. I felt him inhale that bait. Look at that, look at that rod tip right there. Look at him, he's got it, man. That's another one, I promise you, that's another flathead on the head. Yep, we got another flatty. Man, these flatheads, buddy, I mean, we're just on a pile of them. I lost count during all that chaos that was going on. But this is several now. All in just a just a very short window of time. I bet they're just staged up out here at this creek mouth. I'm at the original creek mouth that was here kind of before they flooded this to make the reservoir there's there's a, a, a deep flat up here that comes off and then you go out this way to a little bit deeper flat to like 40s feet and then it drops off to the old river channel and so i'm right here in the old creek mouth and it is another flathead I knew it in the way he bit. I felt him hit. I'm sitting there talking to you all. I felt him eat it. Just felt him inhale that thing. Oh, Lord, fish. Hey, quit that, man. Quit that. Lordy days. What's got into you? My gosh. About knocked my rod out there. That's my signature series rod there, fish. I'm going to be losing that now. That's a dang nice rod for you to be doing that to perfect rod for kayak fishing and for people like me who don't just fish in the kayak it's adjustable that's my sales pitch right there flathead he don't he don't care boy you ain't getting no front camera time now i'll see why he's upset look at that thing crawling on him right there you see that you got one of them he's got another one on his head right there crawling around you got cooties fish get out of here before you give me cooties Boy, he's, boy, that's another one right there with a bad attitude, trying to splash us with water there. Did he get y'all on the on the lens? No, he got my lens. Oh <laughs> gosh, look at that mess, man. These fish, I'm telling you, what y'all there? Man, they're ornery today. They are fired up. That head, it still looks good. You know, we just had dropped it back down there too, so hadn't been down there long enough to bleed out. Let's get it back down. I'm going to drop it down. Let that sinker hit bottom and then just raise it up so that it's dangling there. A couple, three feet under the surface. I mean, under the, off the bottom, I mean. I can't get my words out. But this right here is by far my favorite way to fish. I love doing this. Uh, there's no more fun way to catch a fish than on a suspended bait in a kayak because like that fish there, I felt him. I literally felt him eat that bait. Just, you can feel it just kind of rock the kayak. And that rod tip goes over and the kayak starts to lean just a little bit. That is fun. You just can't, you can't get that fishing from the bank. You can't get it fishing from a boat. 
even other styles of fishing in the kayak, you know, dragging baits, pulling planer boards and stuff, forget about it. Ain't nothing tops this. So anytime I can fish like this and, and get a bite, this is what I want to be doing. But man, what an awesome day, y'all. I'm having a dang good time out here. And like I was saying there before, we run out of bait, so be it. I'll run back here in this creek. I'll work these docks. We'll find us something else to put on a hook and come right back out here. About to catch us another one here on this head bait. Oh boy, he's gonna pull too now. Oh, look at him strip some line. Okay. Man, he took off. I've had a long break here. I was just sitting here. I've been going back and forth in my mind. Should I make a run in this creek and try to find some more crappie? and come back out or should I just ride it out? Cause it got, I don't know, maybe an hour. It gets dark so early now. That sun's headed down, maybe an hour left. How long is it gonna take me to find some more keeper crappie back there, you know? Like how much time am I wasting without baits in out here? So I've been going back and forth in my mind on that, not catching anything. And well, here goes this rod. So maybe I've made the right decision by staying out here longer i don't know what this is man he took off i don't know if it's a blue or flathead there comes some bubbles up he was stripping some line that's a big blue that's a big blue cat right there nice man nice take it he ain't done either. He's going to pull some more. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, Blue Cat, we'll land you and give you some front camera time. How's that sound? Best idea he's ever heard. He ain't never heard an idea before, but that's definitely the best one that he's ever going to hear. <laughs> Come here, Blue Kitty. Oh, you got to calm down now if we're going we're gonna to come inside. Come on in now. Come on in. Whoo! Nice one, y'all. Nice one. Oh boy, he bit down on my finger now. I to get the pliers on this in here. He about swallowed that dang bait. Come here, give me that hook and that bait back. There we go. Whoop, I about put that stinger in my own hand. And yeah, we'll take a look at that in a minute, but it's probably going back down. How about that little slob right there? Another quality fish. Glad I made the decision to, to sit out here and just ride it out. Pretty good idea, wasn't it, Blue Cat? you agree with me. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you know, just second guessing myself. Should I made a run in here? this creek try to find what if i didn't find any bait you know then i've wasted all this time that i could have just had my my cut bait down here you know you can you can question yourself and talk yourself in and out of anything you know i'm just the kind of person i'd like to when i'm catfishing i want baits in the water as much as possible oh if i hadn't had them in i wouldn't have caught that and, and i'm glad i caught him but it would be nice, I ain't gonna lie to you. It would be nice to have some more live baits right now. Them flatheads have clearly moved on, but if I could have been dropping more live baits as I was reeling them in, just putting more and more options down there for them, maybe it would have kept them around a little while longer and we could have got a few more. That bait there, it actually don't look to be in bad condition. I'm gonna, I'm gonna re-hook it here through the other nostril. We'll put it through there, but it still looks pretty good, all things considered. So we'll drop it back down just because we're short on cut bait at this point, but probably just gonna ride it out here and uh, till sunset, go with the bait we've got. Well, yeah, it would be real nice if we had some more. Had some more live baits right now. I've had another one sneak up on me. I was tinkering on my phone. 
and we got a rod up here. I felt the kayak leaning again. <laughs> didn't feel him hit it, didn't feel him eat it. Just distracted on the interweb and felt the kayak leaning. I bet you this is another flathead. Somebody bet me a shiny new nickel right now. I guarantee if we get a look at him, he's going to be a flathead. I might bet you a dime even. <laughs> Big money. High rolling up in here. This is on a chunk. Some of them flatheads that went in the creek may be coming back out now. He's going to take off, buddy. He just found out he's on camera. He's trying to get away. Come on, flathead. Come. Yeah, it is flathead. Yep. He's either working into this creek or he was one of them that come through before. Or maybe he's on his way back out. Who knows? Threw our bait off, but that's all right. I'll forgive him. I'm going to hold you out like that so we can kind of get a look at you there. It's a decent fish. No monster. He's not up to the size of some of his friends from earlier, but good fish nonetheless. There you go, on too. All right, y'all. That's another flat. Man, it's been a lot of flatheads. It's just, you know, these type of places, and I, I know I beat this point to death, but it's, it's good to hear because a lot of people starting out calf fishing, the biggest thing is, well, where do I fish at? How do you find fish? And there's a couple of schools of thought. Obviously, I'm, ain't well, I'm spot locked today, but anchor fishing, you know, stationary position. The other train of thought is drift or drag, cover water. Try to put your baits in front of fish, or in this situation, let the fish come to you. Now, if I'm set up like I am today, here at this, you know, kind of the old creek mouth that was here before they made the reservoir, I'm letting fish come to me. And this is my preferred method because these flatheads and these blues that have come through, when they work through out from the main river channel up in here, they're following a predictable pattern, a predictable path. And you can put your baits in front of that path and intercept them on the way. Once they go back into this creek, for instance, they're going to spread out. They're going to go chase bait, work up under them docks. I mean, they could be literally anywhere. But coming in and out of here, even though you look around here, you know, I'm just a wide open water. It looks like I'm out in the middle of nowhere. Kind of am. But where my baits are at on bottom, it's not the middle of nowhere. It's, you know, kind of the opening of that original creek mouth through here. So that's my preferred way. If I can find a place like this to intercept them, let the fish come to me versus trying to you know pull baits drag baits whatever and you know trying to get lucky really just to, to try to put your bait in front of them and the other thing too when it comes to flatheads you'll catch a flathead occasionally dragging baits but you're going to catch way more if your baits are stationary and i don't know why that is but it's just it's just a fact <laughs> it's you know again all the all the times i've spent dragging and pulling baits I, I've caught some flatheads, but but I've never had a day dragging baits like I've had out here today, for instance, where I've caught all these flatheads just in a stationary position. And I've had a lot of days through the years doing this right here, catching flatheads. I I thought maybe I'm going crazy. I thought that rod right there got hit. Maybe it did, for all I know. But uh, anyway, that's some more stuff. Random thoughts out of my head into this camera and out to the interweb there. But enough of that crap, because we got to get another bait on. We ain't going to catch another fish on this rod if we don't drop a bait down there. Got one on the chunk here. Let's get him in. Another one, y'all, man. What an active afternoon. We had that flurry, you know, where every rod was going down, and since then it's, it's obviously slowed down a lot, but still getting... Still getting some more bites. That sun is setting over there. But they here. They working through. We've been at the right place at the right time today. Sometimes it works out like that. 
think. Yeah, that's a blue cat right there. I bet he didn't leave her bait on either. Nope. The old blue cat. He heard he heard tail down there that we're short on bait. That's typically how they do you. You short on bait, they're gonna start throwing it off. Come on, fish. All right, fish. We'll tell you hi and bye. You wouldn't you wouldn't make the top ten fish today. <laughs> he probably would, truth be told. Well, folks, the sun has dropped over the tree line, and that sun ain't the only thing going down. So's my camera battery pack. <laughs> We've caught so many dang fish today. We've about, oh, here we go. We're gonna get one more, maybe. Maybe, just maybe. Oh, and he let it go. it. Hopefully he'll come back for it there in a second. That fish trying to interrupt the closing. My, I was trying to say, my camera battery pack here is about dead. I'm gonna fish another 20, 30 minutes. I'm gonna go right up till dark. But I don't think my camera's gonna make it, unfortunately. So that fish right there, he he knew his chance was was slipping away from him. He was trying to get on there, but nevertheless, I'm gonna wrap up a video, at least the filming portion of the day, but I tell you what, awesome day from all the flatheads caught big blues and especially them two fish that nailed the bait as soon as it hit bottom i mean what are the odds of that the timing of it just you gotta get lucky to do that and man i feel like i got lucky out here today so anyway i've enjoyed it i hope y'all enjoyed it and hopefully for those of you that come back and watch the next video hopefully we have fun on that trip too i'll see you then thanks for watching